Hi, in this video, I would like to show you how you can create a single page website using Squarespace. But first, let me show you a few examples of, um, of businesses that using a single page concept for their business. Here's the um, first example um, of a permanent makeup <clears throat> artist uh, who, um, so here on the top, you see different pages um, but this is actually just a link referring to a section of the website. So if I click on pricing, it just kind of scroll down to the pricing area. If I click on it about, it's going to scroll down to the about section. Um, if I click on services, it's going to scroll up to the, uh, to the section on the page that explains a little bit more about the services. Here's another example um, of a single page website for the massage therapist. Similarly, um, you can click on these links and they do not refer to a different section to a different page on a website uh, rather than to a different section on the home page um so um usually a single page website is a very good alternative to small businesses who who are still growing and don't really have a lot of content to put on their website. They're very easy to create because basically you're just creating one page and then linking um, your navigation to the parts of your web page. Um, unfortunately, a single page website aren't really good for SEO purposes because uh, technically you only have one page and it's very difficult to rank a website that only has one page. It's not impossible, but it's difficult. It has to be in very in a niche that is not competitive. So here I would like to show you. Um, I logged into the back end of the website that I pre-created uh, inside the Squarespace. Uh, so I just have a simple header, some logo. This is an about section, services, testimonials, um, um, a gallery section, and a frequently asked question section. So, and as you can see, if we go to the pages, we only have in a navigation, we only have a home page. So what I'm going to do right now is going to uh, click on a plus icon over here and add a link. First, we're going to add um, the code. So um, click, click add it and um, and then next to this section, so this is going to be an about section. Next to this section, usually on the top, you would click plus icon and look for code block. Um, it has services. And basically here you would uh, name this page, this is going to be an about page. Next, we have a services page. So this is a gallery and I actually cannot add a, um, any section inside here. So what I'm going to do is actually just add a blank section have it the minimal width and here click a please plus icon look for the code I would delete this text okay next section would be code This is test moments. Okay. And similarly to the other section, um, you cannot add a block um, inside gallery, but what we can do, we can add another block on the top of the gallery section, make it minimal uh, height, and add code block um, 
and just um, when you name your section, it doesn't actually matter. You name it. It could be anything, literally just one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but just make sure that you remember the way you name your section, because uh, the next step, I'm going to show you how you can refer them in your navigation. And here, the last one, um, code here. And this is just effort. Okay. And just click save. So the next thing, we will create, click on a plus icon over here and click create a link. We would name it services. And here in the link section, you would have to click forward slash and make sure to include um, the link about your homepage. If your homepage Slack is home, make sure to include that and then click hashtag and um, the name of the section that we just created. Okay, let's see if it works. As you can see, we click on the services and it scrolls down to the service section. Let me show you. Um, so this is your homepage. When you click on the gear icon, it's going to give you um, here the URL slack. So you can have most of the businesses going to have URL slack for the homepage as home. But just in case, if you named it something like um, welcome, let's say, click save. If we click, if we scroll up, click on services, you're going to see that it takes us to a full, full page. So what we have to do is just go back to this gear icon. And here, instead of home, we would replace it to welcome and then hashtag and wherever the section you're trying to create. Save. So now if I try again, it's going to scroll to uh, part services. Okay, so let's create uh, the next one. Uh, and this one is going to be about. So and click save. I'm just going to rename this to home. So home, hashtag about, click save. And I'm going to go back and replace this to home and click save. Now let's test it out. Scrolls to services, scrolls to about. Um, we need to create a link to FAQ. And again, forward slash home hashtag FAQ. Scrolls down. Um, there is Another link for testimonials forward slash home hashtag testimonials save scrolls and the last one I believe we had gallery gallery forward slash the URL Slack of your homepage, which is home for me, hashtag gallery, see. Okay, let's just test it out. If it works, this one works. FAQ about and services. 
So now I would probably rearrange. Um, first is the home services, um, probably about gallery testimonials FAQ. And here, so basically we only have one page on in our website, but here in a navigation menu, we have all these different tabs that would help uh, people to navigate your website. So, yep. Yeah. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you.